All right, gang, it is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And we are going to discuss this Marvel digital comic drop, just a brief mobile update. I've got a lot going on this week, lots of engineering, consulting work, and things happening in the body shop, so I did not have time to edit the desktop version. But we don't really need to go over too much. It's a small drop, and you know me. I'm going to get straight to the point of value. I'm not going to explain what these comics are all about and the background of the characters or any of that. There are some great people out there that if you want information on what these are about, you can definitely find them. But my focus is on the value. This is an investment, and I am looking to get involved in this to flip for the long term or possibly even a medium term flip. So the question remains, would this be one that you would want to enter into before it jumps on the market? Do you want to pay the price of this on the drop? Is it going to be one of these things that comes out retail on the drop? and then is available in the market at a discount less than the retail price. The Spider-Man drop is a disappointment when you go from, what, the rare down? Because everything has gone beneath the retail prices. I think it was, uh, or was it the common? I can't remember. I think it is rare and on down. So the question for this drop is, would it be worth spending however many gems that you need to spend to end up with something other than a common. For the August 19th drop tomorrow morning, which would be 8 a.m. Pacific time, and that is 10 a.m. Central time here in the great state of Missouri in the capital city of Jefferson City, the list price is $6.99, and there are five variants of this comic. Now, I have heard that the comic is readable. I didn't think that it was before, but I have been corrected that each one of these comics is something that you can, in fact, read. So this could be fun to buy just to enjoy the comic, but how many do you buy if you want to crack into the uncommon? Now, the common comes in at 48,000, and then we drop all the way down to 6,000 uncommon, then 3,000 rare, 2,400 ultra rare, and only 600 secret rare. That is quite a split from 48,000 to 6,000. So what this tells me is that the VV team is smartly accommodating those who don't feel they can get anything in a drop, because there's a pile of these, 48,000. I'll be shocked if the 48,000 sell out or if the entire thing sells out quickly. Well, actually, I won't be shocked. And the reason being, it is the secret box or whatever you call it. What's it called? The secret box? Uh, let me scroll up here. I can't think of the word just because I'm shooting a video. That's the only reason. All right. Let's see what it says in here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't even see it. Well, whatever you call it, it's the... Unopened box secret, whatever you call it, and you got to crack the thing open to see what you get. All right. At any rate, with 48,000 that are common, and then what? 9,000, 10, 11,400, 12,000 of these are going to be possibly of value, where I would probably cut it off at the rare. I would say that anything below the rare is definitely not going to be worth that list price down the road, unless you have a low number. So, how many of these are you going to get? for the chance of scoring a rare, ultra rare, or secret rare. I've heard some people saying that they'll get 10 to 20. Now, at 10, that's 69 gems. That's not bad. 20 would be, what, 140. That's not bad. But it is bad if you're going to put down 140 bucks and you end up with a pile of commons. I would feel really bad for you if you spend $140 of your hard-earned money and you end up with 20 commons. Now, chances are that you wouldn't if you bought 20, because 12,000 of the 60,000 is one-fifth. So it's like rolling the dice, and if you're a statistics nerd, please let us know what the probability is of getting something other than a common. In fact, if you want to get fancy and you really want to show off, post the probability, the statistics, of each level. Tell me the percentage chance of the 
uncommon, rare, ultra rare, and the secret rare. Post that in the comments, please. All right, so that covers it. Uh, you can also correct me if I am wrong about being able to read inside the pages. I've been so busy, I have not even been able to read this little brief update that is right here on the Medium webpage. I'm trying to look for it now as I talk and try to give you valuable information as I'm learning at the same time. That's pretty bad. But hey, that's how busy I have been. This has been a crazy busy week. I'm telling you that I probably will participate in this drop. I might buy one, two at most. I'm not going to buy more than two because if I get ridiculous and say get 10, I might be able to get the ones that I want for less than what I'll pay for getting 10 of the secret private unopened boxes, whatever you call it. Um, that's all I've got. Let me know what you think. And if you are going to participate in this drop, please like and subscribe. Or be like the nitwits that have been thumbing down some of my excellent, outstanding, informative videos. But thank you if you do give a thumb down because it does give traction and help out with attracting more people to the video. So... We will talk to you tomorrow once this is done. And I just got disrupted by another text message. <laughs> See, I'm so busy I forgot to mute the text. Sorry about that. Anyway, this is Carlton, and I am out.